Myers and will lead it out. He's got to land with them. They come in over the line. It looks like number 19 over there. Now and he scores! Oh, check it. It's Hedman. It's not 19. It's 16. It's up over the shoulder. Grab a power. Make it 2-1. And this is where Blaineville is so dangerous. You see him come across the line. Great feed to find the open man on the other side. Power play. Power play goal. And there you see Gramit Bauer goes down a little bit too early. Hemme makes no mistake and pops it over the glove shoulder to put Blaineville on the board here. It's a 2-1 hockey game. You have two power play goals and a shorthanded goal to start this one. It's been an active second period, first period rather. Henman on the board. Dartmouth, Nova Scotia native with his second of these playoffs. Bathers, and I think, is going to get an assist. It's a power play marker at 12.08. And it's 2-1. Suffering from contact with the boards here in this period. For Paquette Bisson on that hit. And then, of course, we lost Alexander Barre Boulet in this period as he lost an edge down in the corner in Moncton's territory. So we're in the last minute. It's a five on three. A blast rebound scores. It's Henman again. Parked out in front. It's a power play marker. We're tied at two. You wouldn't be able to keep this team down like this on the power play for long. You had a five on three. And, of course, Henman stepping in when Barre Boulay goes down. And there you see the great cycle down low. Back up to the blue line with a one-timer. Gramit Bauer just gives up the rebound. And Henman's there to make no mistake to put it past the sprawling netminder to make this a 2-2 hockey game. They'll go into this intermission. They're going to have another four minute and 43 seconds left on this five-minute major power play. So now it should be a five on four as that Aspero penalty should come off the board. Still on the power play will be the Armada. And after such a positive period.